Well, Grand Junction's houseless population is on the rise. Data collected from a fall survey shows the rate at which the problem is growing. Tonight, city officials sitting down to hash out the numbers and find a possible solution to face the crisis head on. We're going to join uh, Hannah Hickman now with more. You were at the meeting, Hannah. What'd you find out? Yeah, Bernie, 14% higher than Denver's, 75% higher than Boulder's, and 165% higher than Colorado Springs. This is the houseless population in Grand Junction compared to much larger cities across the state. A few numbers to put into perspective. As of 2021, the houseless population increasing by nearly 43% from 2019 to 2021. You can see those numbers behind me. The percentage of those unsheltered in Grand Junction sits at 60% since 2021 and 70% for those experiencing chronic houselessness. The survey found the top five prioritized current needs. Those include affordable housing, showers and bathrooms, warm places to sleep, employment and physical health support. Other statistics factored into the survey were gender, ethnicity, veteran status. The city issued the help of volunteers to collect this data in tonight's special workshop. As you mentioned, city officials went over the findings from today's released data. Those in attendance at tonight's meeting talked about systemic solutions being a contributing factor for the houseless population. I think as we mentioned previously, this really does mean that losing housing is complex. As I mentioned, it's really not a character flaw, but a combination of multi-systemic factors. So one of the things we've wanted to address is this myth that we have in our community that houselessness is a choice or that individuals are choosing to be unhoused. Um, and so what we know just from our research and the, and the conversations we're having in our community is that um, often it's not necessarily um, you're given a variety of choices and you choose to be unhoused, it's more that the options presented may not be right for that individual. The city asks us to use the term houseless due to the social stigma around the term homeless. Officials at tonight's meeting say they hope the survey also helps to break the stigma around houselessness. You can find the data from the survey on our website.